we also have to talk about the excretory system. And the excretory system is just the way the body is able to remove waste products or any excess substance. And it does that through the urine. The main organ that's going to be involved in this is the kidney, which is a bean-shaped organ. The kidney will also have an opening called the hilus, or it's also called the hilum as well. The renal capsule is going to be the smooth outer surface of the kidney. The renal cortex is just the outermost region, so the outermost layer of the kidney. The renal medulla is the region just underneath the cortex. And then we have renal pyramids, which are triangular shaped structures that are going to be found in the renal medulla. And the renal pyramids are going to be involved in filtering the urine. Now, every single renal pyramid will be found in the renal medulla because, again, the renal medulla is just a region. Renal columns are just going to be the spaces between the renal pyramids, and they're also every single column will be found in the renal medulla. Each renal pyramid will have its own renal papilla, which is the tip. And this is the final place that urine is filtered before it is caught by the funnel system. Now, the first part of the funnel system is called a minor calyx. This is a cup-shaped drain, and one minor calyx will drain only one renal papilla. A major calyx is where one or more minor calyces come together and form a little bit bigger funnel. The renal pelvis is going to be where every single major calyx comes together right at the end and forms one large funnel right before it exits the kidney, and that's called the renal pelvis. Exiting the kidney is a small tube called the ureter that will transport the urine from the kidney down to the urinary bladder for storage. Looking at our picture, we see the renal capsule, this brownish color, which is just that smooth outer surface. We also see the renal cortex, which is going to be highlighted here by this arrow. I'm going to start coloring this in just a little bit here. And again, the renal cortex is just from the outer surface of the kidney up until about the tops of the pyramid. And again, it's just going to be this region that I'm coloring in here. And that's going to continue all the way around the kidney. So this is all going to be the renal cortex. Now the renal medulla is going to be this region underneath it. So let's color this in. So again, the renal medulla, the region will include every single one of these triangular shaped renal pyramids and every single space in between each pyramid, which is called the renal column. So this green coloration is going to be the renal medulla. Now going back to it, we have each one of these little triangles are going to be the renal pyramids. And then we have the renal columns or the spaces between them. Now we need to start our funnel system and a minor calyx is our first place to start. And so that's this little tube right here, this little funnel. And one minor calyx will only drain one single renal papilla, which the papilla is just the tip of each one of these pyramids. Now if you notice, each one of these minor calyces come together and form a little bit larger funnel here. There's one right there, here's one right here, and then here's also one right here. And that is a major calyx. So a major calyx is just one or more minor calyces coming together. So let's color this in here. This will be a major calyx. And so again, the major calyx is just going to be where one and another minor calyx come together and form just a little bit larger of a funnel. Now, each one of these funnels, here's one, here's one, and here one, they all come together to form one large funnel called the renal pelvis. It's a big, large funnel right before it leaves the kidney. Now, this tube that's formed from the renal pelvis is called a ureter. That will transport urine all the way down to the urinary bladder for its storage.